everyone, so today for you I have translated this super cute um, giant version of um, what I'm going to refer to as a cross tux. So obviously it's just a basic tux bow and we've taken our everyone and we've done a cross over the top to get this look. And obviously in the prints we've got this and obviously I've got it so my fair is uh, pretty much the right way up both sides so there's a trick to do this. So I'll just show you. If you just have your ribbon like this and it pretty much is there's a trick to do this but i'll show you quickly just so you can see the difference this little trick that i'm going to show you does so it's 14 in 12 inches for your tux bow and it'll be 22 inches for your tailed crossover like this but if we just do our ribbon this way as you can see, the fairies are upside down this side and this side, and only the right way up this way. Whereas on this way, they're the right way up on both sides. So, like I said, I'll be using this one in a minute on a different tux bow. We'll move those both out of the way. But we have our 12 inches of ribbon, and obviously I've folded that in half. I have heat sealed my centre. Excuse me, I've just pulled my thread out of the way. I have folded over these by half a centimetre each and I've creased those like so and I've heat sealed the edges like this and then we take those into the centre so crease on crease and repeat that crease on top of there to line everything up nicely and then our edges are even now the other thing I do with this so I'm just going to repin this I'm going to do it more centered with this one because we want our center pin the first bit where we do the cross on this we want it perfectly centered if you fold this in half on your crease line what I do is I lightly heat crease there so I've got a pinch to see where I need to put my pin through in order to get the cross lined up properly and I've also got these two clips to hold the ribbon when it's threaded through we hold them in place here so that they don't slip and they keep them all squared look so like that's another trick so with this piece what i do is like i said it's 24 inches so what we do is we cut at 10 inches because the tail is four so we cut this half at 10 inches we need to heat seal all of our ends Please excuse any background noise, I've got my windows open and a couple of my neighbours are home at the moment. So, as you can see, this is a ribbon as it's joined your fairies all the way along. What you want to do in order to get them to go the right way up, is you turn it so that this one goes this way. So instead of being this way, we turn it like so, and what you do is obviously I've got my B7000 glue that I showed you before in another video tiny tiny bit or you can use your glue gun but like I said you need the thinnest layer that you'll potentially be able to stitch through because this should if we do it properly it will line up with the center cross piece and then like I said half a centimeter overlap and I clip this and give that a couple of minutes just to set but as I used to watch Blue Peter as a child here's one I made earlier and this one's already dried now so what we want to do and this is another trick is if you make a little triangle with this like so and again 
So you've got a little tiny, it's like I said, a triangle and then another triangle. And what I do, a little crease at that tip and that will be your centre of this piece of ribbon. Okay, and what we want to do, where we had our centre crease, where that mark is, pinned straight up through the centre, like so. We want to take this one, where we've just marked our centre there. You put that right on the centre of there. And what you want to do is the triangle point of this should be right on the centre of our crease. And this will give the ribbon that more squared flare and make it sit really nicely like I said that's what I've learned as I've made these so like I said go up in your triangle uh, a triangle and then thread through your loop like so and what you also want to do is on these sides is Make sure that your crease is directly against that corner. So your ribbon is right against this crease and this corner is like at a slight angle, like so. And then you can use one of your clips to hold that in place and then you repeat this side. So take that across and what you want to do is like I said, you want it at a slight angle but still against that corner there and again you want this where your crossover is that's your centre you can pinch that in half like so you want that right over and as you can see that's squared up a new corner this triangle is dead center with there a new triangle that will be coming over in a minute when we do this loop is there so like i said take this one through through your loop and all the way down and again get this angled like this against your corner Make sure this piece of ribbon is right up against the crease this side. And then you can clip this side. And then you take this side. Again, you want this creased at an angle. So like this angle this way. And again, this goes on your needle like so make sure everything's nice and even like this I'll just hold that and show you and there you go so we've got our fairies this way our fairies this way and our fairies facing out that way and it's all crossed nicely these are all slightly angled not at like um it's like at 45 degree angle it's roughly i'll just show you with my ruler sort of half an, an inch up from the ribbon and the point is Yeah, the point is a centimetre from the corner. Okay, if that makes sense to you all. But like I said, the more you do that, the nicer your, your squares will be. And the other trick is if you wanted to at this point, you can add a tiny drop of glue here and tack that down. Same again this side. 
only a tiny drop make sure it's nowhere that's going to be visible once the bow is made up so done there I'm going to do the same this side lift this up a little bit tiny touch of glue not a lot and the last one this side and again this will just help you keep them nicely squared and they'll just sit that, that little bit better than if you left them completely so once we're happy with everything we can take this central pin out and we can clip this in place we want to do six stitches to give us three creases And I've got my double threaded needle and thread and I use Gutemann's extra strength uh, thread from above one two move that pin three four five, six, and as you can see, in, one, two, out, one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the back you'll have one, two, three. Okay, try and make them as even as you can, and then you pinch them get three creases like so and wrap your centre and I'll leave my clips on until I've wrapped just so that they sit right against those creases and round and then stitch off however you personally prefer Rid of that extra and then we've got this super cute look this is your front this is your back obviously your fair is the right way like so what I do is I do a little angle on this like I said you can do whatever you personally prefer so a little angle there, you could do a little curve, just don't forget to heat seal. And then I'm going to add my bobble and then we're going to do a little scrunchy middle because I think it needs it just to give it something a little bit of visually appealing in the middle. But as you can see you get these like little cute triangles of your ribbon behind. So touch glue on the centre, place the seamy bubble just there, heat seal your corresponding 9mm, and use that excess glue to attach to your 9mm ribbon. Wrap round at least twice, nice and tight. One, two, Right over so you can't see any of that ribbon underneath. There we go. And just so you know, I always keep those bits, they go on other bits ribbon when I'm making without the camera filming me. I don't waste ribbon. Glue there. And like I said, they look cute like this, but like I said, if you want an extra little little trick this is a piece of three inch that i've cut down in half i'm just gonna re-trim that down because that doesn't look very tidy to me and i have used 
roughly three inches. So, or you could use, if you've got some nearby in the same colour, if you had some 1.5 inch ribbon in the correct colour that matched, or like I said, a colour coordinator co coordinating one. So like I said, if you had like a, a peach or a lime or like a pastel green, something like that. And you 1.5. So we did the S that way, and then you do your S the opposite way. So that's the same way, opposite way. So you do one this way, and the other side that way. Fold those like so. Heat, and then pinch them together. Being careful not to burn your fingers. Okay. And this is the look that you get. And what you want to do is you want to glue one of the flat sides here. And put that on the back of your centre. And then you twist it over like so. And then you turn the other flat side over and round and wrap. Now if you've done a little bit too much you can cut that down, repinch it out of the way of your bow, just lift it up a little bit. There we go. Back round. Now you can add your glue. And stick that down. And there you go. You've got a nice scrunch centre on your crossed tuck's bow. Might make that a little bit shorter. There we go. And there is the super cute cross tux bow. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Like I said, you can do it with plain as well. With the plain, you don't have to cut it in half first. You can just use your 24 inches of one inch ribbon. And like I said, the main bow is three inch ribbon. This crossover is in one inch ribbon. So like I said, it's a fun way to use up your uh, one inch. Or you could even use your seven eighth. You'd be able to use exactly the same measurements on seven eighths. Because there's only two millimetres difference between the one inch and the seven eighth. Um, ribbon so like I said it's a good way to use up bits of that and like I said just give a slightly different looks to your tux bows and like I said if you need any help or advice the links to my group and Facebook page are below and I'm always about to answer any questions that you might have about the tutorials thanks for watching bye